it's a Corsair 780T had you already not guessed hey Harry back again I'm gonna do a another water cooling video uh, just changing the, the soft tubing inside my case here I'm gonna hard line it keep the green in there Yeah, change out all that lot. I think I'm going to keep the actually a bit of show ram cooler and stuff like that. Don't really need it, but system got a 990FX UD5 gigabyte motherboard, FX8350, 16 gigs of RAM, two eight, uh, AMD HD 7950s, a Crossfire. I've had them years and a 850G2 power supply so I'm going to get this downstairs drain it out and we go from there oh and it's a Corsair 780T had you already not guessed ok we've drained the loop now got most of the most of the liquid out in there just over half a whatever that is maybe a litre or so I'm not sure but now I'm going to start taking off all the plastic tubing keeping a drain keeping this underneath here and I've got plenty of plenty of rags around here I'm going to go over here sorry about that plenty of kitchen towel and then I will open the box of fittings and then we go for now I need to adjust the height of the pumper fraction because that that line there is not quite level I know it's all black guys but we'll see how it comes out right be back in a bit once I got all the hosing off okay I got the loop done I uh, took a while, I cocked up one, this one, this one that goes down in here, this one here, I see it there, I cock it up a little bit here, it was, it was about 10 mil short, bit of a bastard, but there you go, but I just, just filled it up, just checking for leaks at the moment, so far so good, and uh, one thing, with these monsoon fittings there's a spanner there's a spanner that comes with these I'll be very careful because see there see this one there's a bloody scratch right in there but I'm going to try and buff it out but yeah so far so good I'll leave it running for a bit and see if I get any leaks so far See what it's like when it's full on with all that crap out of the way with the green lights on. Because this is the this is the 780T that's got all these all these lights up here are green as well and the start stop button is all green so it all matches up. So I'll leave it running for an hour. Bleed a bit of air around it. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, she's been running now for about an hour. No leaks. Got it right up at the end. See if we can get that up there. Straight up to the reservoir, uh, to the radiator. I'm still. I'm going to leave this uh, toweling in for another hour. I've got a, a cable cover to go in the back there. I've got to recut that in tomorrow. I'm just going to leave it running till all this. Yeah, bubbles have gone out of there. They take a couple hours. We got some in the top there, but no leaks still. Everything's all right. It's only an 8350 on a gigabyte UD5 motherboard. Two um, HD AMD Radeon 7950s in there in Crossfire. 
the three gig cards. It's got a Alpha Core 30 mil thick 360 in the front with three of those um, Corsair LED green fans in it, and the top radiator is a 60 mil thick 360 Alpha Core, and it's got uh, three SP Quiet fans on it. Majority of these fans, four of these fans, two at the front, two on the rad run on speed fan, the back one, this one and the bottom one run on the fan controller of the 780T which is good because uh, when I'm just watching the TV just general browsing on the internet up in my office is where this is going the these two and these two up here they don't even run so it's very nice, it's very quiet, nice and quiet. I've got, uh, just got to reorganize the cabling at the back. i got a little cover there I made down the back there just to cover, see that little bit of perspex there just to cover the cables in at the back so you can't see them. Once I get this cover, I made this cover here. That's going to go back in there cover that, I'll recut that in tomorrow but uh, I, I just like this PC it may not be the best but she boots fine it's Windows 8.1 media center on it I, I, I video I, I uh, record sorry TV programs and stuff it's just a general thing um, video editing with Sony Vegas on it it's just a it's just a great all-round PC I got no problems with it and with this new rise and stuff coming out I I'm itching to to see what it's like but no man I don't I don't need it I don't need it this this PC here does me fine I've got a gaming rig with an i7 3 the 3820 in it two GTX 980s in it that's fine that does what I need to do and I've got this one over here it's my garage PC it's got a 6350 in it on MSI 990FX motherboard speed fan is running see the water temperature is 32.2 degrees I've got the red light in it, I've got the red lights on the top see the see speed fan is running that one's not going. That that one there, that bottom one, the back one, and one on the top radiator is uh, running on the fan controller there, which is on one. Hardly does anything. Sometimes it gets a little bit warm, maybe 35 degrees on the water, but it does nothing. 16 gigs of HyperX DDR3 RAM in it. Only it's got some penny eight me. Uh, GTX 580 hydrocopper graphics cards in it which I bought a couple of years ago it just does a job absolutely fine and I've also got this one over here this is the one where I test bits and pieces out on MSI crate uh, 970 motherboard um, GTX hydrocopper 580 in it 3 gig card in it Got the radiator down the bottom there, these fans and the top radiator on the 240 uh, Alpha Cool. That's a 240 Alpha Cool as well. Uh, they, they don't they don't hardly ever run. So yeah, that's that's what I got going around here. Little screen there, little setup there. But at the moment, I'm just going to leave this running till all the air goes out of those stuff. The little bubbles go out of there and the bubbles come out of here. So far so good. Uh, I've no reason to upgrade anything at the moment. I just wait to let all the bugs go out the uh, the Ryzen R7, R5, whatever. And I might do it later on. But at the moment everything is running fine. That's running Windows 10. This run Windows 8.1 and this one here runs Windows 8.1 my gaming rig is running in uh, 10 point, um, 
sorry, Windows 10. Uh, it's okay, nothing mega, but uh, it does me. So this is Harry. I'll get back to you when all that's down, when all those air bubbles are gone and I've got this all connected back up in my office and I'll get back to you then. Okay, back again. I, I bought the PC back up here this morning. Uh, I left it uh, leak testing for about 10 hours. This is my green and black build. The 780T. See, I've got the green lights on the top there. My brother did those for me. 360 ran in the top, as I said. Um, just been idling here now for couple hours and the temperatures as you can see like that I'll just come down here slowly so you can see the temperatures and what I'll do is I'll put either 64 on and that's task manager and the fun the fans Two on the rads, two on the top, two on the front rad, run on speed fan. And I've got Ada 64 up there. And what I'll do is I'll put Ada 64 on, and then you can see the temperatures. Um, the fan controller at the front there is on one. So I'll put Ada 64 on. And uh, you can see the temperatures, see the fans, those two fans there, not spinning. That one is. And the same at the top, I think you can see the back one there. And the intake at the back. But the other two are not going. So I'll just put either 64 on. And I'm just stressing the CPU and the GPU because that's just on the water loop so I start that and then we can see it straight up to 100% like that and we'll run that for I'll run that for 15 or 20 minutes it is on an overclock I think I got it to 4.2 I think it's a 3850 16 gigs of RAM in it and you can see the temperatures gone up a little bit I'll just come down slowly so you can see CPUs the highest is 49 I've been around 32 graphics cards 43 and then we can see over here a speed fans just up the ramp up the speed on the fans to 840 temperatures you can see there I think this is the top one temp one is system fan temp 2 is a CPU and temp 3 is a TM pin 2 whatever that is and then you've got the GPUs down the bottom there, 43, 49, the cores 32. The room temperature is, what is it? Oh, there you go, 20, room temperature is 20.8 degrees C. I don't know how accurate that is. But the fans have come on, as you can see. Three fans on pretty quiet I'm about, about a three feet away from it and this is the this is the loop I done I want I like green lights in it I know it looks a bit washed out on the on the video but this is a green and black build. I, I just want to see what it see how I get on with it. I'll just take the case off the side panel off. And then you can have a I'll just stand it up here wide. Oh, okay. 
I was gonna. I've got some white lights downstairs that I might put in. I might try it out. But at the moment, it's got green liquid on. Green liquid in it. This is what I did. I, it runs from the bottom of the the pump there, and it comes up through that one, up into the graphics cards, up into that. I did this yesterday, and then down out the CPU, it goes in the bottom of the CPU, out the top of the CPU, then into the RAM block, not that it's necessary, but hey, I had excess PC one, I just put it in anyway, then I've got a small, or a thin should I say, 360, 30mm thick alpha cool there, and a 360, 60mm thick alpha cool at the top. Um, as I say, it's a 3850 AMD pile drive on a Gigabyte UD5 motherboard. Uh, Bitfenix extension cables on there, on the 24 pin and on the graphics cards. And the cabling down the bottom, and I made this little cover just to cover those cables up. Oh, it's not it's not the best but it'll do. And my drain port from the lowest point at the pump top. I just swing I swing this out over the side here, connect it, put it into a bucket and drain it out like that. So far she's doing alright. I'll just put this back on. Things I like about this case is so it's so easy to take the side panels on and off. Uh, I'll just I'll just stand back up. This is my this is my office. I've got a 47 inch LG there and a cheap high sense 40 inch 1080p monitor. This is uh, just for my TVs and stuff, watching TV, YouTube, in stuff. This here's my little gaming setup here. Um, Got a Elama 27 inch 1080p and a ROG Swift 27 inch there, 1440p, 2560, 1440, 144 hertz monitor there. A gaming PC, pretty old. Um, the, the newest thing in there is the graphics cards, 2980 uh, EVGAs. 16 gigs of RAM and it's got a it's on a Asus X79 Pro motherboard with a I think it's an Intel i7 3820 as you see it's fully water cooled chrome fittings and a tap down the bottom there this has got uh, 13 fans in it six on the front rad which is a 360-60mm thick alpha cool, I got the same in the roof, got an intake and then a EVGA 850G2 power supply in it. And she, uh, it plays everything I want, I got no no reason to update every, anything at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good PC, um, I've not had a hiccup with it at all, at the moment I'm running Windows 10 Pro on it. Uh, and it's just a pure gaming rig and that's it, it does nothing else but uh, gaming, uh, my Steam games at the moment I'm playing Doom great game, nearly finished it sometimes go online with my mate on Battlefield but uh, yeah, that no, no problem with that PC at the moment touch wood, as he says <laughs> ok, back over to here we've been running now 6 minutes on Ada 64 and temperatures are there like that so we got the CPU at 41 highest is 42 we come down a CPU we got here is 31 the highest is 49 oh that's a package where that is and then we got the graphics cards where are they graphics yeah, we've got the graphics around 
past mine is just showing everything flat out coming down to speed fan fans are now about a thousand and twenty see that and then the temperatures on speed fan I'm not they're okay but I don't think they're mega spot on but I hope you like my office setup guys the new hard line green 780T I might change the lights out for white I might I might try it next week but let me know what you think so yeah that's my setup here in my office great thanks for watching the vid guys I'll do another one soon